What's up guys, Polly Popo here, and I'm glad to be on the channel with you guys today. It's been a minute. Um, you know, somebody once told me that it takes one year to go viral, but it takes 20 years to get noticed, right? So, I got a lot of work ahead of us. I got a lot of work ahead of me. And every single day I wanna say, yeah, I mean, is this for me, man? I, I kinda wanna call it quits just like everybody else, but I'm never gonna be able to. I'm never gonna be able to stop doing this. Um, you know, and some things that help me out, like when I'm, when I get called in or something to work or I can't be in my studios, like when I have a second, you know, I'm always thinking of different ways that I can route my audio. And what really helps me is drawing it out. And like the same way that you write out a schedule for your whole week, you know, that time's allotted to what it is written down. If you know what my point is, is if you know your MPC or if you think you know your MPC, you really don't know it until you sit there and try to draw it. Try to draw your MPC the way that it looks and then draw it the way that it turns on. Flip the page, what's that menu say? When you hit menu, what does that bring up? What are, can you teach that? Without an MPC, are you able to see every single button on there and know exactly what it does. I'm not saying that you have to do that, but just like any normal or any other device, like a computer, you wanna know what alt shift or function buttons do. You wanna know what every single button does whenever you hit it. So don't be afraid, you're not gonna break it either. I've had one, I've had my MPCX for, uh, since it came out and um, I've put some abuse onto it. And you're not gonna break anything. And I used to have that a phobia of leaving my gear on. And I mean, I've left my MPC on for lots of lots of hours at a time. And I've even left it on overnight. I, there's no, no, I've had no issues with leaving the power on. It's not gonna hurt anything. So you don't have to feel anxious about that at all. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of all over the place right now. Cause I'm a little excited because I finally got the computer up and running. And uh, it's never fun, I, I hate computer. I have a degree in network administration and cybersecurity, and I know a lot about computers, but I still hate every single thing about them. I mean, they hate me too. It's a, it's a love-hate relationship that we have. Um, kind of like that solid state uh, mixers and stuff that I see on there, man. I'm like, there's such nice stuff out there that you have to have a computer in order to utilize, but yet I'm trying to go standalone with half of my stuff. So it's just like, man, I'm, I'm kind of torn. Um, I'm kind of torn because if something happens to my computer, all of my stuff's gone. But if I have it in, in standalone, I can try to fix it. You know what I mean? I'm, I've just had really, really bad luck and I hated to spend the money on a computer, but I do love the MPC software. Um, you can use it, you know, to your advantage, especially when you're making sound packs and stuff like that. But like I said, guys, don't ever stop. And um, who cares about the videos? Like me, I'm shooting this off of my iPhone right now. I don't have anything else set up. I'm just like, man, I, I needed to sit down for a second and just say something. And um, hopefully something out of the whole video comes out that's good but I don't like to do any editing or anything like that. I just like to speak it how it is and what comes through at the time. But I really hope everybody's doing good and don't ever think about, you know, I mean, you can think about all you want, but just don't ever pull through with, hey, I'm, I'm done with the music thing or anything. Um, hit me up, send me an email. I'll try my best to explain the way that this works for me. And I've owned a lot of, analog gear okay i've owned a ton of stuff and the the system that i use works on every single piece of hardware that i've ever had whether it be a korg electribe or a korg mx an an 200 a yamaha or a 7000 um the mv the eight the 8000 the 8800 any mpc the, the workflow that i show on the videos and honestly, I've made more money teaching than I have ever selling beats. They're like, dude, where do you sell your beats? It's like, I don't, I don't sell my beats. I just show that 
you can make these beats on here. I mean, it's gonna take me years to be able to make the song that I wanna make, you know? Um, I do make a whole lot of music and I'll put it out on my TuneCore and DistroKid in the hopes of like video game or background music. But as far as somebody spitting over my music, I don't have none of that out there uh, like that. Um, I do have some project archives and stuff like that on my site, but that's just for if you want to see the song structure and or remix one of my, my sounds or something like that, that's fine. But, um, yeah, it's been a minute since I shot a video. I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable now. It just feels weird whenever you're sitting in by yourself and you just start talking into a camera. But uh, I got to get used to it again because it's just been a minute. And, um, yeah, I, honestly, like I say, if you can't make music at work, you know, because you get called in, you don't have to be in the studio every single second of the day in order to make music, as long as you're thinking it, as long as you you can visualize. I'm not, I'm not saying you need to draw your MPC in order to master your MPC. I'm saying it'll help you to where whenever you can't use it, you can still say, I want track one to do this. What's the first thing I do whenever I turn it on? I hit empty project, what's next? I hit browse, because I want to load up my sounds. What's the browse thing? You know what it looks like. You can draw it all too, trust me. And repetition is the key. And like I say to a lot of people, it's a little bit plasticky, whether you have the X or the live or whatnot, even the X is a little bit plasticky, man. You get the same sounds, but you're getting a $30,000 studio and a $3,000 box, okay? So give it a break whenever things don't start working, just, you know, it's intuitive. You have to, you know, save your project, turn it off, turn it on. But man, nine out of 10, you're gonna be pretty satisfied with what you can do with it. And if you really wanted to take it to like a, a, re a professional recording studio or whatever the sound standard is, um, you can do that. But honestly, I don't think anybody on the radio is gonna be able to tell the difference whether it came out of an MPC or if it came out of a, a, you know, a $50 an hour studio. I've had no issues with it. Now, like I say, the sounds are a little plasticky. Any MPC should have came with no sounds. It shouldn't have came with no sounds. This way people could appreciate putting sounds. They could learn how to manipulate the sounds. You know what I'm talking about, how you used to sample your claps and you used to have to sample your snaps from, from back here to get a different one or up here to get different. Uh, the MPC shouldn't have came with any sounds in it. So the sounds they give you are, are uh, gifts. Guys, I just want to let you know that I appreciate every single one of you for supporting me. And a lot of the times when I'm at work, I try not to cross contaminate where what I mean is I'll put my phone down, right? Because I know it's, it's blowing up, but I'll put my phone down while I'm at work. But I picked it up the other day, man, and, and I've been doing it lately. I shouldn't be picking up my phone at work, but I'm going to be picking my phone up at work just like everybody else. And I look at the comments and some of the comments that I get on there, man, just make my day, dude. So, you know, if I've ever said you've made my day with a comment, you know who you are. And I really appreciate that. And it's from teaching. It's not from the, dude, your beat was so fire and it made my day. No, it was, I, I helped you out in some way, you know, it's a way of giving back. I'm not going to be the dude up on stage making beats, but if I can help you, you know, to where you want to do that, you know, I can show you pretty good workflow on here that that's helped me be able to just express myself. It's a universal language, man. And you can have two different people on the same MPC and music's gonna come out different and you're both gonna be able to appreciate it. That's what it's all about. But um, what else do I got here? Oh my goodness, guys, it's, um. Like I said, it's always hard to get into the studio. But if you can think about it, just thinking about it. Think about the guys that went to war, okay? They didn't go out there with their men and fight for, you know, 10 hours or 11 hours. No, they thought about what they were going to do for 10 hours. And they went out there and they kicked ass for one hour. 
and they came back home, and that was it. 10 hours of planning equals one hour of 100% execution. Um, I can't stress that enough, so draw your box, man. Think about it. Be able to visualize it. Teach it. That's, that's all I can say is be able to know it so good that, that you should be able to teach it on anything. If you want to learn guitar, learn it well enough to where you can teach it to somebody or try teaching it to somebody. Um, a lot of times whenever I'm doing a one-on-one -on -one session, um, I'll learn something new too. And I'll tell them, hey, dude, that was cool. I didn't, I didn't even know that. It was really neat. But um, that's about all the time I got for today. I have a ton of stuff uh, routed into i'll show you this real quick and then i'm gonna i'm gonna bail out of here but i got a ton of stuff routed into my mpc live anything going through that mixer is going into here and i have different groups so they're going through a different group uh, into here so i can just resample everything in my software so my plan is to be able to start off a melody on my keyboard and then on here, have a nice, I, I wanna be able to make my sample, okay? I'm basically just gonna be able to make a, it's not gonna be a song, it'll sound like a, a song and I'll stretch it out to 64 bars and that. And then what we'll do is send it all through the mixer and everything hot into there. And then I'll show you the second half is what I'm gonna start doing because I'm trying to plan out like a, a show of what I can do. And I think talking about what I'm gonna do and then going and making my sample with the modular gear and putting it into my MPC in, in, in standalone. And then in the same se uh, session, what I'll, I'll try to be live too when I do it. I think it'll be good for people to see my mistakes because nobody, everybody makes mistakes even i do <clears throat> but now that i have everything hooked up and i got my little computer that pushes the software that's all i needed it for um it'll all go out of my mixer into this mpc live so we can re-chop it up and then i can throw it into fruity loops and we can go from there or whatever you know who knows what, what what's going to happen but nine out of ten i just use the mpc software uh, to do what i'm doing but um, might get a little crazy. Take it one day at a time. Plug one wire in at a time. I mean, whenever you're trying to fish, you're not rocking the boat trying to catch a fish. You just sit there patiently, man. One thing that I pray for every single day whenever... There's two things. There are a bunch of things that I pray for. One is that you guys um, don't ever give up because it's not fun to feel defeated in trying to do something that you love doing. I really do. Every time I pass the 70 bridge every morning, I do. I, I do. And uh, I meant that so much that I forgot the, the second thing that I pray for, which it is patience. Man, I pray for patience every single time, whether it comes with my dog, trying to bite my nose while I'm sleeping, or whatever it is, you know, I every day I try that. And... Uh, I think it helps. I'm not sure. By being pretty patient. Being pretty patient. But anyway, guys, I ain't gonna eat up your time anymore today. Uh, hopefully I can get on here and go live later on. Um, like I say, time's limited. And I don't know, I guess I'm a little bit nervous to go online because it's been so long since I have, but there's only one way to do it. So the next time you guys see me, it'll be live. If I don't, I'll talk to you guys later on, Polly Popo. And it's been a pleasure having you guys here. Right on. I'll talk to you later.